Hi everyone, welcome to episode two of the Social Rose Design Series. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a tall, layered centerpiece. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. And, and there you have it. That's how this layered centerpiece design comes together. Wouldn't it be amazing if that were actually the case and I could snap my fingers and all my weddings <laughs> would come together that easily? Now let's really see how it's done. I have a nine inch dish with floral foam that's pre-wet and all of my flowers ready to go. So first we're gonna start with our hydrangea. Now we're going to take our stalks and we're going to place those into the arrangement and you should always only work on the side of the arrangement that you're facing that's the way you're going to get the most accurate and best insertions into your phone now we're going to use a beautiful greenery called Italian Ruscus and this is going to add a lot of texture to our arrangement. And again, you want to make sure that you're cutting your stems on angles. That way, they make a very firm insertion into your floral foam. Now that we're done with our ruscus, we're going to add some seeded eucalyptus to our arrangement. Now we're going to start inserting our roses. So we're going to use the white as our first layer. I used my white roses first as my inner layer because we also have white hydrangeas in this arrangement and because the hydrangeas are so big and uh, large in size they're very prominent and I don't want the centerpiece to be overtaken by the white we do also want the blush to show through so the blush roses will be the last layer that we use in our arrangement going to use our Veronica to give a little bit texture into our arrangement and extend the piece. You want to avoid cutting your stems too short. You can never add back part of the stem that you've cut off. You can always hold your stem to the arrangement to measure and give you a guide of how short you want to cut your stems or you can always cut off more. But if you cut off too much, unfortunately you won't be able to utilize your flower any longer. With your Veronica, you also wanna make sure that the stem is traveling upwards. A lot of flowers have faces, and the face is how the flower looks most lively. You want the flower face to look up. If I were to face this down, it might look a little sad and not so healthy. Next, we're gonna add some texture with our green Pittosporum New Zealand Pit. This greenery has a beautiful, small little leaf traveling all the way up the stems, and it gives beautiful texture in your arrangements. It's important to have texture in a floral arrangement because it adds depth, visual interest, and dimension. It'll create more impact on the table as well. Next, I'm going to move to my blush roses. So I have two varieties of blush roses here. The difference is very subtle, but in actuality, it really does show. So here we have our sandy roses, which are a very neutral blush, and then our sweet Eskimo, which has a little bit of a subtle hint of pink to it. Now we're going to go in and we're going to add our blush pink roses. 
When brides book us for their weddings, we always provide a complimentary sample centerpiece. They're able to come in prior to the wedding, at least several months before the wedding, to view their sample to ensure that they're happy with the color, the arrangement, the size, the texture, and that ensures that you're both on the same page and moving forward, they know exactly what they can expect from you. So we've got pretty much most of our flowers into the arrangement. And now we're just going to add some spray roses for a little bit of texture. And then we're gonna finish off our piece with some Salal, which is just to fill in the gaps that you might have. You don't wanna see any floral foam and you don't wanna see any of the mechanics with the floral dish that you're using for the arrangement. You wanna make sure to fill in some of the top, not too much, but you want to finish your arrangement because when the guests take this centerpiece home, which is likely going to be the case, they'll lift the dish off the stand and they'll be able to see inside the top of the arrangement. And the last step is going to be to add our anemone to the arrangement. And there you go. This is how we create a layered design with texture and greenery on a tall stand. Thank you for watching this episode of the Social Rose Design Series. Please leave your comments below if you have any questions or if you'd like any more tips on how to build centerpieces or floral arrangements. Thanks so much for watching Flower Friends and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can stay tuned for the next episode. Bing. Right, beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Snap with this one? Piece, okay. Yeah. And done. And it's just easy as one, two, three. Just like magic. Oh, here. <laughs> <laughs>